Hello friends, if you are a student of English literature, then do not skip this video and do not ignore it. I am Shazi Jamal and you are watching English Literature Zone. Today in this video, we will discuss a very beautiful poem written by William Shakespeare that is A Consolation. It is in the syllabus of BA English Honours of Bhimram Bedkar University, Muzaffarpur. This is for the students of first year BA. This poem is in the second paper of English Honours of second year. I will explain this poem in Hindi and English both language. I will try to give you a better and clear understanding of the poem and its critical analysis and appreciations. So friends, without wasting your time, let's start. But before that, I would like to make a request to please do like, share and subscribe it so that others may also get benefit from my videos. Okay, now firstly, let me read the poem. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I will alone be weep my outcast state, and travel deep heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, which it like him like him with friends forsaced, desiring this man's art and that man's scope, with what I most enjoy contented least, yet in these thoughts myself almost despising, happily I think on thee, and then my state, like to the lark at break of day arising from soul and earth, sings hymens at heaven's gate, from thy sweet love remember such wealth brings, that then I scorn to change my state with kings. This poem of William Shakespeare is in the form of sonnet. Firstly, I would like to tell you what is sonnet. You must have heard about sonnet of Shakespeare and Petrarchan sonnets too but that is another topic i will make another video separately about sonnet only and where there we will discuss everything about sonnets but here sonnet is i would like to make a very short clear understanding about sonnets sonnet is a small poem of 14 lines having a fixed rhyme scheme that is in ambic pentameter and its style is ambic pentameter the first eight lines are called octave and the last six lines are known as sestet and all together 40 lines lines are known as sonnets so one sonnet has 14 lines that is restricted it is a tradition of sonnet to have 14 lines and to write in this style so this poem is also having the same format that is of sonnet and it is shakespearean sonnet that he has written most of the themes of uh, Shakespearean sonnet deals with love and courtship, but he also introduced actually the love and courtship theme was Elizabethan sonnets theme, but Shakespeare also introduced friendship as a theme of sonnets. So here in this uh, poem, we will come to understand that it also mm, is dealing with the theme friendship. Out of 154 sonnets, Shakespeare has written almost around sonnets which deal with uh, the theme friendship. So, now let's come to the point. The poet expresses his emotions and his feelings for his friend. He is having a miserable condition because of the loss of his friend and his friendship. He is in a very disgraceful mood. He is in depression and he is cursing his fate because he has no friend right now then the memories of his friend's love run through his mind and he becomes happy he feels um, contented and he is having a feeling of consolation and then he decides that he is the richest person he because he is having his friend's love and he then decides that he even with the king would never like to change his places he, he would never like to change the places with the kings because even king is not so powerful as he is feeling because of the friend's love. In the first four lines, the poet feels disgraceful and he is in depression because he is in his bad days. He feels very unlucky of himself when he finds others looking down upon him. In his disgraceful mood, he weeps on his conditions lonely and uh, he prays to God, he prays to heaven but his prayers and his cries are not heard by anyone. That is why he in the poem has um, uh, mentioned that a deep heaven. By saying a deep heaven means to uh, say that the heaven is not responding him and so the heaven has become deep. He, he is 
complaining to god that no one is listening to him no one is hearing his cries and uh, coming to understand his feelings that he is feeling very pity right now on himself he wishes if he were like someone who has more hope and happiness in his life he wishes if he were also rich handsome and popular like others he wants to have one person's talent and others opportunity and all those which would make him happy but as much as he thinks of others happiness it makes him more unhappy and more upset being separated from his friend he feels loneliness he thinks over the miseries he is suffering that that is the feeling of loss at night he is unable to sleep as his mind continuously uh, keeps on thinking over his own misfortunes that consequently leads him to the feelings of wretchedness and it brings more and more wretchedness to him when he keeps on thinking he keeps on cursing his fate as long as uh, the memories of his uh, friend flashes back through his mind these these are the mm, feelings and emotions which uh, he has mentioned in the very first four lines then he uh, moves mm, ahead and he then says as soon as he thinks of his friend's love in the midst of his wretchedness and his misfortunes he feels consolations from the memory of his friend's love and his heart is filled with joy and all dark thoughts disappear and his heart takes the gladness and he has uh, mentioned this feeling of a change in his uh, mind in his heart in the next four lines shakespeare is tarah se apne is pure poem mein apni feelings ko aur apni emotions ko batate hain apne friends ke लॉस पे क्यों उन्होंने अपने फ्रेंड्स को खो दिया है या फिर फ्रेंडशिप नहीं है ये दोनों ही बातें हो सकती हैं क्लियर नहीं है कि रीज़न क्या है हो सकता है कि फ्रेंड्स की डेथ हो गई हो या फिर हो सकता है कि फ्रेंड हो लेकिन किसी तरह से कोई बात हो गई हो जिसकी वजह से फ्रेंडशिप नहीं रही हो तो फ्रेंड जो है बहुत दुखी है अपने आप को अकेला महसूस करता है और रोता है वो बार बार प्रेयर करता है और चीखता है चिल्लाता है कि उसकी आवाज़ कोई सुने उसकी फीलिंग्स को समझे कोई कि वो बहुत अकेला है और उसने अपने फ्रेंड्स को खो दिया है अपने फ्रेंड को उसके फ्रेंड उसके पास नहीं है ये सारे फीलिंग्स उसके मन में आ रहे हैं और वो बहुत ही दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण महसूस करता है वो खुद को ऐसा महसूस करता है कि उस पर कोई आपदा आ गई है कोई मुसीबत आ गई है वो बहुत ही अपने आप में दुखी में दुख में डूबा हुआ है तो चाहता है कि उसकी आवाज़ जो है भगवान सुने जब हम दुखी होते हैं तो हम दौड़ के किसके पास जाते हैं भगवान के पास जाते हैं खुदा के पास जाते हैं और हम चाहते हैं कि हमारी आवाज़ वो सुने और हम हम हमें कोई किसी तरह से कोई कंसोलेशन दे हमें किसी तरह से संभाले ठीक पोइट भी वैसा ही चाहता है और लेकिन उसकी आवाज़ जो है हेवन तक नहीं पहुँच रही है जो गॉड है ऊपर वाला जो है वो सडन कोई उसको चेंज नहीं दिखाता है तो पोर्ट जो है कहते हैं कि हेवन जो है वो बहरा हो गया है उसकी आवाज़ नहीं सुन रहा है उस पर दया नहीं खा रहा है आ, उसको तरस नहीं आ रही है पोइट के दुख पे फिर वो आगे के चार लाइन में बताता है कि किस तरह से जब आ, वो दुख में है और उसको अपने फ्रेंड्स की याद आ रही है उसको दुख हो रहा है कि वो अकेला है ये सारी चीज़ें हैं उसी बीच में वो ये भी कहता है कि उसको दुख तब भी होता है और जब वो ज़्यादा सोचता है उन लोगों के बारे में कि किसके पास किसी के पास हैप्पीनेस है किसी के पास और अवसर हैं जो लोग होपफुल हैं अपने लाइफ में जो खुश हैं उनको जब देखता है और वो लोग जब पोइट को नीची नज़र से देखते हैं तब उसे बहुत दुख होता है और इसी बीच में उसको अपने फ्रेंड्स की याद आती है और उसके प्यार की याद आती है और उसका में मूड जो है चेंज होता हुआ नज़र आता है इस पोएम में फिर पोइट जो है अपनी मूड को चेंज करता हुआ दिखता है और वो खुश नज़र आता है वो हैप्पी हो जाता है वो उसका दिल और दिमाग जो है खुशी से झूम उठता है भर जाता है और वो अपने आप को कंपेयर करता है कि वो उसकी खुशी जो है इस तरह से महसूस हो रही है जिस तरह से जो स्काई लाइक चिड़िया है वो आसमान में जा गाती है खुशी से द पोइट हैज़ कम्पेयर हीज़ own happiness and joys uh, that he is getting after mm, the memories of his friend's love to the skylark's flight 
He is singing it as the lark rises up to the sky early in the morning and sings in its full ecstasy and um, happiness and joy. In the same way, the poet poet's soul also mounts up when he reminds of his friend's love, when he remembers his friend's love and his memories. He plunges into the deep feelings of his friend's love, which uh, forces him to feel contented and accepts the feeling of being wealthy. He feels so rich that he even resigns to take the places with kings because of memories of his friend's love, which completely consoles him. This sense of this feeling is so deep and so powerful that the poet even never would like to change his place even with kings. This is the feelings and emotions that has been given by William Shakespeare in this poem in, in the end. And he has picturized the whole poem in a very beautiful manner. His imagery is so fascinating that it expresses his art, his art and his personality very clearly. He was uh, very sensitive in terms of sound also as we find the lark at break of day rising in this sonnet uh, which appeals to the readers. Love and courtship was the base of the sonnets that was uh, the base of the uh, tradition of the sonnets in Elizabethan period but he was the one who introduced uh, friendship also. And about Shakespeare's uh, sonnet, T.S. Eliot rightly has said the sonnet of Shakespeare is not merely such and such a pattern but a precise way of thinking and feelings and that he has, um, to, that is completely true because when you go through this poem and you go deep inside this poem you will come to understand that what he has portrayed. What we know today in the sense of friend, we, we call that somebody is my friend but Actually, the friend word by him has been used in a very intimate way. It's very um, different thing that what today we call a friend. Uh, we call somebody a friend. Because it's very different from what we call a friend and what he mentioned in his po poem. Then this way the poet feels a consolation, he feels satisfied, he feels satisfied. अपने आप में अपनी इस फीलिंग्स को याद करके जब उसे याद आती है अपने दोस्त की दोस्त का प्यार जब उसको याद आता है तो उसको एक तरह की संतुष्टि मिलती है वो और वो इतना संतुष्ट हो जाता है कि अपने आप को दुनिया का सबसे अमीर आदमी समझता है उसे लगता है कि वो सबसे अमीर है सबसे रिच है और उसके पास सब कुछ है वो सबसे ताकतवर है वो इतना ताकतवर है कि अपना स्थान जो है ये किसी भी राजा से भी वो बदलना नहीं चाहेगा यानी कि उसके पास जो हैप्पीनेस से जो स्ट्रेंथ जो उसको ताकत मिल रही है जो खुशियां मिल रही है वो किसी राजा के पास भी नहीं होगी तो वो इस तरह से महसूस करता है और इस तरह से पोएम जो है अंत में खत्म होती है विलियम शेक्सपियर अपने इस तरह के फीलिंग्स को अपने पूरे फीलिंग्स इमोशंस को बताते हैं ये रही हमारे पूरे पोएम की समरी और थीम और इसकी क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस आप इसे देखते रहें अगर आप यहाँ तक देखे हैं तो प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब कर दें मैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में ज़रूर आऊँगी फिर एक दूसरे टॉपिक के साथ तब तक के लिए आप वीडियो देखते रहें इंजॉय करें एंड दूसरों तक शेयर ज़रूर करें बाय